Hey, greetings Thurber House friends from pandemic quarantine. Here I am in my office where I've been every day lately and wearing my same old yoga pants. But uh, my name is Katrina Kittle and I am a novelist. Um, my most recent books were The Kindness of Strangers and The Blessings of the Animals. And I am a past um, John E. Nance resident at Thurber House. So I got to stay there in the haunted attic I had a couple ghost encounters. It was awesome. And I have been asked to share with you the Thurber 13, and I'm really, I tried not to look. They told me not to look in advance. So let's see what we have. Oh, what is your favorite word? I'm a word person. This is gonna be hard. Um, favorite. I really love the word serendipity. I just like it. I'm going with that. Number two, what is your least favorite word? I'm really sick of the word unprecedented. We keep hearing that way too often for the past three and a half years. I don't wanna hear that word anymore. Okay, number three, what would you say is your best quality? These are hard. Um, I think my imagination, I really do. Um, and that helps me and saves me with my writing big time. Number four, what would you say is your worst quality? That is also my imagination. Um, as a fiction writer, I'm sort of trained to go to worst case scenario immediately. So say I'm supposed to meet you for coffee and you're 10 minutes late. I am already imagining your death on the highway in my head. I can't help it. I go immediately to the worst possible thing that might happen. There's Joey Cat. Maybe I could get Joey Cat in the video in a minute. Um, my cat also stayed at Thurber House. Um, okay, number five, what sound or smell do you love? There are so many. Um, the smell of coffee, the smell of vanilla, the smell of caramel. Okay, I'm cheating. Number six, what sound or smell do you hate? I really hate when I can hear people eating. That's gross. Or when they wear the hate, the smell of people wearing too much cologne. Number seven, in an alternate universe, what profession other than your own would you have pursued? I think I would have been a veterinarian or maybe run an animal sanctuary. Number eight, what profession would be the worst fit for you? A school bus driver for elementary school children. Number nine, oh, and on that school bus, country music would be playing nonstop. Um, number nine, who is your favorite fictional hero or heroine? Uh, okay, there's too many. There's too many to pick from. Um, okay, most recently, the book I love that I can't stop talking about is Hollow Kingdom by Kira Jane Buxton. And the hero in that book, the protagonist, is a domesticated crow named S.T. And he is my favorite hero for a long, long time. And it's my favorite book for a long, long time. I highly recommend it. It is awesome. 10, who's your favorite fictional villain or villainess? Um, Hannibal Lecter. 11, are you a Thurber fan? Yes, I am. If so, what is your favorite Thurber story? I think it's called The Night the Ghost Got In, about the ghost up in the attic where I stayed. <laughs> yeah, The Night the Ghost Got In. That's my very favorite. I also love The Night the Bed Fell. Number 12, what is your Walter Mittyist fantasy? Okay, so I've done this for years now. Um, I have a dear friend, Brad Riddell, who has written a screenplay of my novel, The Kindness of Strangers. And it is in the works, still very early, still very uncertain, but it is going to be made into a movie. He is deeply committed to it, and so am I. And so I frequently fantasize about Oscar Knight when he wins the award for Best Adapted Screenplay and I am there to witness it. 13, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you show up at the pearly gates? Wow, um, I think I would like to hear her say that all of my past friends and family and pets who've gone on before me are there to greet me. That's what I would love. Those were hard. I thought those were gonna be super easy. Um, but I hope everyone stays healthy, stays safe, and stays sane in these very strange and scary days, okay? Be well, everybody. Bye-bye.